Hey Beth, so doing a quick video, or at least I hope it's quick, um, to describe the solution that I have figured out for having a form or a more structured way of entering in products, a more user-friendly way of entering in products. I have not found anything off the shelf. I have not, um, I don't really have the skill or really the time to do the custom coding. It's job. It would be JavaScript PHP heavy. Um, take quite a long time and I began to worry about what it would mean or what it could cause negatively you know what it could cause to happen in regards to payment processing shipping calculations um, those types of things that are handled behind the scenes with WooCommerce um, the minute you start to try and restrict or override what's being entered in on that admin side like this through the administrator, um, you could potentially mess that up if you didn't really know what you were doing. And the fact there's not something out there already makes me kind of wonder if um, it's just too complex. Like they want you to be able to enter any and all types of products so the minute you start to add a layer on top to restrict what users can enter or to guide them in what to enter then you remove possibilities and you start to limit the options so anyway so going with the fact that i haven't found anything and i really don't know that i trust myself or my abilities enough to develop it myself um i looked for other solutions WooCommerce does allow you to import in a CSV file, which is created from a spreadsheet. Either Google Sheets or Excel will do it. So I just wanted to show you a normal um, listing or a normal product, I mean. So product name, you know, short. This is the uh, long description up here, short description down here, you know, pricing. There's some inventory, inventory to control type things. That was another thing I was afraid would be messed up by a custom solution. Inventory control. So you can actually, you know, set your, you know, quantity in stock and, you know, whether or not you allow back orders, all that kind of things. Your information that would be needed to calculate shipping, weight and dimensions. You can also, um, with WooCommerce, uh, you can tie in live shipping rates from USPS, UPS, and FedEx. So none of that has been done with your dad's stuff, so we would need that information unless you offer free shipping, which I'd have to go back and check. I can't remember. So that can be set up as well. Or flat rate shipping where you give me the rates and, and weight uh, parameters, you know. So um, there's also other options which we could go through. Like I said, I can do a desktop share and we can do some like real in-depth training on this. Um, product gallery featured, you know, the first featured image there. But then also too, here's your SEO uh, type area. So your focus keyword for this product, not the entire site, the, the product. And then it gives you, you know, nothing has been done with this one. So you can add related key phrases, but that you would have to upgrade the plugin to be able to add more than one keyword per product or per page. Um, and then, but the main thing you want to look at is here. Like I told you, it kind of uses a, a red, yellow, green um, system. And right now, nothing is activated on the SEO because there's no focus keyword. But once that's entered in, then you'd be able to enter in um, down here. You can enter in your SEO title, which it has some, this is what I was talking about with it, with even nothing entered in, it will build your basic meta information, which is this right here. This is what it just built on its own without anything being entered. So, um, as you can see, it gives you um, room to enter in the custom, you know, SEO optimized information here, as well as down here at the bottom, it gives you hints on how to make your listing even better, your, I mean, your SEO information, your meta information even better, and the hopes that you will get enough of these right to turn it into a green light or green smiley face. So, um, which is the most optimized it can be. There's never going to be instance where you get rid of all of these suggested improvements and you do everything that they say to do. The goal is to get it in the green. 
which like, as I told you before, sometimes that just is near impossible. But that's the goal on all the pages, like every page, product, post is gonna have a block like this that can be edited and, and enhanced, you know. So, um, so I just wanted to show you that real quick, product categories, you know, all of that stuff's here. So this is what we need to build. And what I'm proposing that we do is use Google Forms and Google Sheets to create the upload document for WooCommerce. So I just threw something together really ugly and quick, just based on the text you sent, and it's not even right, as you can see. So I didn't make it pretty. This can all be very, you know, stylized and design pretty header colors that match the site and all of that. So um, you would, basically we would, I would enter in whatever questions you want me to enter in, whatever, however you want to um, capture the information. These questions can be, um, I'm just going to enter this so then I can show you what it, how it translates. See, as you can see, I made one of these a required field. All of these, any and all of the fields can be required. Um, and then you can have drop down lists. I'll show you the list of options on these questions in a minute. But um, I just put some information in here just to show you what was possible. Um, as you can see, you just, you know, click and go. And um, you don't have to enter in anything. Like I could use, if you wanted to force an, uh, every question to be required, then we would add none as an answer. I didn't. I, these do not have a requirement on them. They're not required, so I'm, I'm, you could, I could leave it empty if I wanted to. Um, here's where I think what I, here's where I think would, would, you know, is what you were really wanting. So I know you have some specific text that you like to include on every product or a variation of the text. So, like here's um, what you had on your listing. In, on Etsy, Etsy, however you say that. And so, as you can see, you can have multiple of these, multiple options. Oh, on this one I need this, but on that one I need this. And so maybe bail description isn't right. If there's some general description that you use, like it needs to say this on necklace, but that on bracelet and something else on the other thing, then that's what you would, you know, then you would give me all those options and what you want them to say, you basically, I need from you, and you could do this in a spreadsheet if you wanted to, or you could just type it out in an email. I need every field that you would want them to enter, and I would need, if you have, if it's a selection, like they have options, multiple choice, drop down list, radio button, give me what those choices are, and then whether or not they can select multiple. Hopefully not, but, if it's an option, then go ahead and put it and we'll figure out what to do with it in a minute or later. But, um, so anyway, so after that's all entered in, because I wanted to show you something else too. Another thing to keep in mind is things like this. We ship in stock items in two to three days. This statement needs to be on a shipping and returns policy page. Every WooCommerce site has it, general terms and conditions refund policy, sh uh, uh, shipping policy, uh, there's another one, privacy policy. So shipping and returns are usually together and then you have your general terms and conditions and you have your privacy policy. So that should be in your shipping and returns page, not on each and every product. Um, only because that makes it a nightmare if you ever have to go back and adjust it. Like if you decide that you're so busy now, it's gonna take four to five days before things are shipped out. Or maybe you get help and you can ship same day or next day. So instead of having to go into all, you know, 20, 30, 50, or however many products and changing this wording, we just have, have it in one place in, in that document or in that page and then we um, don't have to, you know, have an error there in the future if, potentially. So. Anyway, so I don't, I wouldn't think you would want that in every single product if you have it prominently displayed on a shipping and returns page, or at least I, I would hope not. But if you want it, that's fine too. You would just need to add that as a, you know, send that to me as a question, you know, like what a, a shipping policy or whatever, and then you 
give me your options, you know, if there is, if there are options. So then what we would do is, so then once they hit submit, I'll show you that other thing in a minute. As you can see, it, it puts it in the page. I mean, it puts it in the sheet Ooh. and um, into columns, which is perfect. So then what I would have to do or what I'm going to have to do is download the uh, WooCommerce product template spreadsheet. It would be sheet two in this document. And then I would have to use this information to build the answers on sheet two that would then be uploaded. So as you can tell, as you can guess, these are not the correct field names for WooCommerce. So that's where we have to get things correct. And then short description and long description have to be concatenated along with additional wording. So we can talk about that more later, but I think this is a viable option uh, for what you want to do. Um, and then, okay, so then different field types. So these are the different um, types of questions or types of answers that I can offer to the user. So short answer, paragraph, all of this. And I can also add text above and below and between questions to describe how to answer the question if you need it. And then you can even add pictures and videos to describe how to answer the questions or enter the product. So um, I think this would work, but let me know what you think. So I think that's everything. I think I've covered everything. So basically, yep. Um, if I built this second sheet with the proper formulas to build the answers, that's what I, I need from you. So let me just recap. I need from you a list of all fields that you want the user to enter or all questions, and they can be in question form or they can just have, you know, one or two words, however you want it. Um, so all questions with all answer options, unless it's a free form text writing one, you know, they just type it in. That's fine too. Um, then I would also need an example of what you want the listing to look like, at, you know, because I'm going to have to take all their answers and build an, a long description and a short description. So I want to know what, how you want that to look. Um, because all of these fields that you have here are not on a product. Yes, I can add custom fields to a product, but we still need a long description or a short and a short description or the listing itself on, um, on the site will look wrong. It will not have, you know, the proper, um, there'll be big blank spaces here instead of, you know, the description and everything. So I think that's everything. If you have questions, let me know. Thanks.